a South Asian Muslim girl was going through a horrible marriage. There was no love between this couple and she had cultural pressure on her to stay in this marriage and to have a particular image. So Sania Khan decided that she will publish her divorce and freedom journey on internet, which may be helpful to other ladies in her community. But little did Sania know that these videos and this divorce will be the reason of her death. So this is the case of Sania Khan, who TikToked her divorce and was killed for it. Twenty-nine-year-old Pakistani American Sania Khan used to live in Chicago. Her family moved here from Pakistan, and her dad started work from social work. He used to get less money than lowest working wages, but moving to a new country is always hard, so he didn't complain. When Sania turned twenty-five, she wanted to support her family financially as well. And she started working as flight attendant to earn money. This wasn't forced. She loved to travel, and she loved to meet new people, enjoy new food, and experience new culture. She was working for airlines, but Sania had an interest in photography and video shooting. And according to her friends, this was her life goal. So, working as a flight attendant, Sonia saved some money, and with that money, she bought a DSLR camera with it. She used to do freelance work as well and professional shoots on the side. And she was so good at it that she became a profound photographer in her area. And after getting a lot of work, Sonia opened a website for her business. And she got different types of clients through her website, and she was really proud of her skills. This website is still available, so you can still go and see how passionate she was regarding her work and passion. She was earning well from this gig and decided to leave her job as a flight attendant, and focused everything on photography. She used to charge premium for her photos. But her price is justified from her portfolio. Sania also used to post her work on TikTok and Instagram, and a lot of people were following her to see her life and work. And especially on TikTok, she had twenty thousand followers there, so she was a micro celebrity there. And I'm sure she gained few clients because of her social media presence as well. Now Sania Khan was obviously an independent woman. She was supporting her family, and she was living on her own. The best thing was that she was following her dreams. And as I said earlier, her parents were Pakistani, so from the age of twenty-four to twenty-five, the kids are pressurized to get married. And same thing happened with Sania as well. When Sania left her main job, then parents asked her to get married as soon as possible. She wasn't against this thing. She just wanted to make a name for herself first before getting married. Her parents looked for a perfect groom for her, but Sania already had a boyfriend, Rahil Ahmed. Sania and Rahil had been dating for five years, so she thought this is the perfect time to marry him. And so they did get married in twenty twenty one, which was last year. They had a very beautiful Pakistani wedding, and Rahil was everything that Sania was looking for. Rahil used to support Sania's business. He used to love her, and he used to cherish her. But all of this was a facade. Reality of Sania's and Rahil's relationship was something else. Rahil Ahmed, according to Sania's family and friends, was a controlling, lying, and manipulating boyfriend. When they were getting married, Rahil told Sania that he was thirty years old, when actually at the time he was thirty-six. He used to gaslight Sania a lot, but he wasn't this bad in the beginning of their relationship. They did long-distance relationship for almost five years, and Sania used to meet him in between of her flight layovers. But in these five years as well, Rahil was very demanding. Maybe because of less conversation, a long distance, Sania never felt that Rahil could be a bad person. 
But after marriage, Rahil turned possessive and controlling. He had tabs on everything that Sania did. For example, what Sania was wearing, who she was interacting with, what type of clients she had, like every little thing used to go through Rahil first. They were newly wed and Rahil wasn't working at that time. So Sania thought that maybe he was in stress and she tried to change for Rahil. She used to cook for him, didn't wear any revealing clothes and she stopped hanging out with her friends as well. She was becoming more and more of what she hated just to save her marriage. She wasn't loud, bold or expressive anymore and couldn't even share her problems with anyone anymore. So after being frustrated to the brim, she confessed to her friends one day that she wasn't happy in her marriage. Sonia told her friends that Rahil was going through mental issues and because of that, she didn't feel safe at home. The bottom line was that she wanted divorce. But being from a Pakistani household, this wasn't going to be that easy. Sonia told her friends that in her community, divorce is frowned upon. Sonia's friends said, she told me that divorce was considered shameful and she was extremely lonely. Sonia had cultural pressure to stay in her marriage. What will people say was always in back of her head. Even though Sonia's parents were divorced as well. So she thought that if I get a divorce as well, this will ruin our family's name. But when Sonia told her problems to her friends and family, she only got support. And she finally filed for divorce after going through hell. And Rahil's family were not happy with this. Rahil did sign divorce documents, but he kept on pleading Sonia that this is a big mistake. And universe wants them to stay together. But when Sania didn't agree with him, then Rahil showed his true colors. He used to follow Sania on a lot of occasions. If Sania talked to any men, then he used to harass Sania on call. And he used to barge into Sania's apartment. And to get rid of all of this, Sania got a restraining order against Rahil. And she switched her house lock with more secure locks. She literally was doing everything that she could stay safe because Rahil was a proper stalker at this point. And when Sania was approaching her divorce, she was genuinely happy. And according to her TikTok videos, she was starting a new chapter in her life. She also got a new apartment far away from the city so that she would never run into Rahil. And she was showing this new life and freedom of her through TikTok in hopes that her story will comfort girls who are going through similar situations. Sania knew this thing that she was the black sheep in her community. But it was clear to Sania that she should never have married Rahil in the first place. Through her TikTok journey, Sania was able to connect with a lot of people. And with every TikTok, her follower count was also increasing. So much so that a lot of people in South Asian community knew about Sonia's divorce. So she was gaining positive comments through her TikToks and online presence. But on the other hand, she received negative comments from few of her family members and Rahil's family as well. Rahil's family said, don't take our son's name while wearing short clothes. And you are doing all of this just to ruin our family's name. And you are using this divorce for your gain. Rahil moved to a different city, which was Georgia, during all of this. And after watching these TikToks, Rahil stopped stalking Sania as well. So Sania thought that all of this was over. When Sania was 29, she decided that she will move back to Tennessee, where her parents lived. And last year, on July 21st, Sania asked her friend that she was coming back and said that will her friend be her roommate, to which her friend said yes. Sonia was really excited and really happy to start a new chapter in her life. But sadly, this happiness wasn't gonna linger for long. 
The day when Sonia was about to leave Chicago, that same day Rahil came to Chicago as well. He was very angry and he wanted answers from Sonia. Earlier, Sonia used to be very careful because of Rahil. But they had been divorced for five months now. And Rahil was also living in a different city, so Sonia wasn't as alert as her usual self. And Rahil took advantage of this. Rahil drove over 11 hours straight, like Georgia to Sonia's apartment. And when Rahil's parents saw that their son was missing, then they called police immediately. And they asked police to check Sonia's apartment in Chicago. Maybe Rahil is there. These are the same people who shamed her. So if they were worried, then you can imagine how angry Rahil must have been for five months. Rahil was just thinking about Sonia that whole drive. And as soon as he reached her apartment, he busted through the door while shouting her name. And unfortunately, Sonia was at home at that time and they got into a huge argument, which was heard by Sonia's neighbor. But that neighbor didn't know Sonia as well, so she just walked by. Actually, what happened in that apartment, we will never know that thing. But this neighbor heard a gunshot sound from far away. And when she was running back to Sonia's apartment, she heard another gunshot. When police arrived at Sonia's place, they saw Sonia was lying dead and Rahil was bleeding through his neck. So they took Rahil hospital, but Rahil died midway in ambulance. Rahil first shot Sonia and then himself. And at the end, Sonia got her freedom through this marriage by giving her life away. And this is why this case needs to be spread among South Asian women and girls. I'm sure most of you have heard about this case before or must have seen this same situation near your house that how girls are forcefully sent off in the name of marriage and then are silenced afterwards. But if these marriages only lead to deaths, then are they really worth it? Honestly, I feel so bad for Sonia. Just when she thought that she could again restart her life and live happily and fulfill all her dreams as she wanted to, her life was taken away from her. But this is all I have for this case. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to give a like and also subscribe to my channel. And let me know about your thoughts in the comment section below.